Good morning. Uh, I'm whispering because Guido is still asleep and it's quite early. I'm just making some coffee and going for a run. I thought I would just uh, explain to you why <laughs> I'm doing this midweek uh, video because, as you know, I normally publish on Fridays. Uh, this video is sponsored by BetterHelp. And uh, if you know my channel at all, you know I've done hundreds of videos uh, over years and never done a sponsorship. And I get asked every single day, I get an email from someone asking uh, to do a sponsorship. But I just, it's just not, uh, not really for me. But this, um, this particular one was different because it's something that I was already familiar with and, and it's, uh, I think, I mean, if it doesn't, if it's not relevant to you, just uh, completely ignore it, it's fine. But I think that a lot of people are dealing with anxiety and BetterHelp is an online platform offering uh, therapy. So they have over 20,000 licensed uh, psychologists, marriage and family uh, counselors, social uh, workers, professional social workers, therapists, um, and they're uh, it's kind of a, 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 a d different way to, to approach psychology. If, for example, you can't get to, uh, you, know, you can't get to see a psychologist in person, or um, it's, it's slightly cheaper than uh, normal therapy would cost in person. And, uh, and I first actually found out about it uh, over a year ago. I'll put up a little um, I, I guess I'll record my phone and put up a little excerpt from a chat with my best friend and and uh, she I haven't put enough coffee in here um, <laughs> she uh, she she actually recommended it to me and uh, and they and then I was at the time I was asking her about different options for online therapy because I was uh, trying to help this friend who was in who was struggling quite a bit uh, with anxiety and and uh, and she lived in a country where they don't speak English and so she couldn't find uh, someone who she could really be comfortable with and uh, these are the things I like about better help and that's help h e l p help um, they hang on I'll put this on and then I'll talk to you about it um, they. Basically, they allow you. They allow you to change uh, therapists for free as many times as you want. So that's the main thing. When I've tried uh, therapy in the past, sometimes it hasn't actually been a good fit, and I've thought, uh, "This isn't for me." And as you know, I have I have a super communicative family, so I can always call my 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 mother and my father and my sister. But uh, I wanted, you know, when I was going through a rough patch in Rome a few years ago. I uh, I just was looking into it, and I and I did I did have like a not a good experience where I just thought, oh, this isn't really working for me. But the thing with BetterHelp is that they allow you to change, and you can see you go online, you fill out all your preferences of who you are, what your situation is, what you actually want out of therapy, and and it's quite specific. And then uh, within forty eight hours, they assign you a therapist, and that's quite good because sometimes when I've called up a for, um, to make a booking, you know, it's usually when you've hit rock bottom, right? It's normally when you've thought, I can't deal with this anymore. I have to take some sort of action. And, uh, and, and so 48 hours means like it really, I don't know, for me, if I know I ha had an appointment at that time in my life, it, it helped me to sort of feel like I was taking control and I was trying to get myself back on track with my health. And whereas, you know, a lot of the time I would ring up and they would say, oh, sorry, we can't get you in for another month. And by then it's like your initiative is kind of uh, passed, you know, because it takes a lot. Like you, there's so many excuses. You think I'm too busy. I don't really need this. I'm not, if you have that stigma thinking, oh, I'm not actually sick or I don't have any actual trauma, but, but this isn't, better help isn't a crisis line. It's, I mean, I've made a video in the past on suicidal ideation. And if you're feeling at that level of despair, that desperation, I'll put some, a link below for different support that is, is much more uh, appropriate. But, uh, but if, if you're just 
struggling and you're looking for something like a long-term solution, I think this is, I think this is pretty good because uh, it needs to be easy, right? It's like, it's like going to the gym or exercising or whatever. If it's too hard, you just won't do it and you won't keep it up. And that's, I think, uh, with therapy is the only way that it can work is if you're doing it over the long term. You're never, you're not going to get some magical result from just one session. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. For, it's not going to be an option for everyone, obviously, because uh, it's... Uh, it, for some people, it's just it's just not a fi- it's not financially feasible. Although BetterHelp do have uh, uh, some financial aid for those who are in uh, financial difficulty, uh, but you get a, a, a weekly call or video chat, whatever you prefer, and unlimited messaging. I think that helps as well. And I the reason I wanted to do this is because so many of you write to me. I just I get inundated with emails and dms and i can't keep up with it all i can't like from people who are experiencing some kind of anxiety and i uh yeah i i I think that getting a professional i'm not a professional i can't give you the answers and i don't i don't have the the resources the time to to speak with people so i i think that this is uh perhaps one of the the most uh, cost-effective options out there it uh and it i remember when i was when i did therapy in uh, uh in rome i found a i found a, a psychologist and it was it was not something i could really afford at the time i was not making any money at all so i was just living off savings and then you know if you're feeling if you're struggling with anxiety and then you're also in a, in, a, in, a, in a state where you don't know where your income's coming from, it can be really uh, quite uh, debilitating. But uh, I, I just thought to myself, no, this is, this is super important because everything depends on my mental health. Everything, I'm not going to get to the stage of getting myself back on track with my work or with uh, my relationships or just with my health I was at the point where I wasn't even able to get outside and do my running which I love and and being social I wasn't I just couldn't get up out of bed you know and I and I think that uh, yeah so I, I I'm it was quite an investment for me so I understand if this isn't if this isn't something you can manage right now in your life uh, I'm sorry I wish yeah I wish it were you know the way that that this were free or something that governments could subsidize it somehow but but on the other hand uh there are a lot of people who can spend the money on an, uh, on uh, a vacation a flight a hotel uh, uh renovating a uh, uh, part of your house or something and or clothes or these things that ultimately they're they're beautiful and they're stimulating but are they more important than mental health absolutely not and so Think about it. Do whatever is best for you. Um, if if you want to consider better help, uh, if you sign up, I don't get anything out of it, so don't feel uh, obliged there. But uh, they, if you go to BetterHelp H E L P dot com forward slash Kylie, uh, they will give you ten percent off uh, your first month, uh, and yeah, maybe. Maybe it could be something that you that you try out, and uh, I don't know. I think if uh, if it comes to like saving a family, saving a marriage, uh, getting yourself up off the floor, and just not feeling so alone, not getting to that point where you are in in uh, in in a state where you you you've lost all hope. Uh, I, I think that's that's worth it, but it's your life and you have to decide what's best for you and this is just something I believe in and Guido believes in and uh he he actually wanted to uh speak about this about better help but it's funny he's so passionate about therapy you have no idea he just um he's such a 
an evangelist. I mean, he literally goes around, even to my friends, they have trouble with love. It's like, have you, have you looked at your behavioral patterns? Have you thought about, uh, have you looked into, you know, why you're doing, you know, how you operate and how you respond to people? And um, so I actually thought, oh, if he, if he were to speak about this, um, and we're going to, we were going to do a, uh, a piece anyway on mental health and, and uh, and and uh, in he's familiar with with better help. He actually looked into it as well, even though he has a psychologist uh, here in Florence that he sees regularly. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's something we both really care about, and it's it's important for men. It's important for uh, you know, people who are young adults who are just you just perhaps living alone for the first time, and it's important for people who are uh, perhaps going through a divorce and you're finding yourself in a different chapter and uh, I, I mean honestly it's just anxiety doesn't discriminate does it it can it can just affect all of us and I see it uh, I, I see see therapy not just as a, a, a way to you know don't think of yourself as, as broken and you're trying to fix something I think of it more as as uh, self-care and 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 also a preventative measure to make sure that you're uh, really feeling healthy in your in your mind and, and you're waking up feeling uh, at peace. And I know that might sound a bit silly, but it's, it's super important. It's like if you wake up and you feel just already just weighed down by the burden of, of I don't know, some fight with a family member or some sort of conflict that's happening at work or... Uh, just an altercation with your spouse or just how you're feeling in your body. I mean, goodness, there are just so many, there are just countless reasons why we can not feel light when we wake up in the morning. And Sorry, I just <laughs> I just got lost in thought. There's just, I have so much to say about therapy, uh, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'm going to have my coffee and, uh, and is it ready? Yes, I'm going to have my coffee, I'm going to go for a run, and then I'll come back with Guido because I'm sure it will be much more uh, entertaining and also interesting to get his his male perspective as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope, I hope this is relevant to you. If it's not relevant to you, don't worry, I'll be back uh, on Friday with uh, the regular schedule <laughs> of... Uh, of uh, all the, the normal things that I film, but you guys know that I've, I've done a lot of videos on mental health because it's, it's, it's quite important to me and I, I, don't think, I don't think it's just something for people who are uh, clinically depressed, which is often the assumption. Um, it's, it's like self-knowledge is... Who, who, who honestly could say, oh, I, I understand myself completely, I'm done. Uh, I, I think that would be, that would just be foolish or arrogant, no? Um, we're, we're never really, we're never really done with, with understanding ourselves. And, and uh, I believe that with self-knowledge, ironically, if, even though it's the self, you actually become a better person to others. And that's, that's what I like about it all the more I understand myself and how I respond, how I react, uh, what I'm triggered by, uh, the the better I become at loving others, at being supportive to them, at uh, understanding them, being empathetic. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm always always a work in progress in that regard. I think we all are. So uh, if yeah, if we can if we can try to understand ourselves. It's just, uh, it takes, like when you think about it, most, most fights, most any kind of conflict, uh, be it in the office or in the home or uh, even online, uh, it's about fear. Like one party or both parties uh, have, a, have a deep fear of something and it's... Uh, it's not necessarily an abstract fear. Sometimes it's like quite can be substantiated. But uh, if you, you know, we're rarely uh, fearing the thing that we're fighting about. The thing that we're fighting about is always just some 
other superficial excuse to uh, kind of articulate all our, our pain or our, our despair. And I, I think if, if we get better at identifying that, it's ah, uh, <laughs> the world could be a better place, no? Because most of the time that we're expressing something negative, it's coming from a place of fear about something that we haven't been able to resolve or express or even just admit to ourselves and um yeah that's that's just how i feel now i'm going to have my espresso i uh, go out into the beautiful morning and i shall see you in just a moment with guido maybe a bit precautious <laughs> <laughs> Tea for me and... Rosé for me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join me in the tea? No. Okay. <laughs> I brought you a teacup. You always have that option. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you. For the moment, I have some wine. Thank you. <laughs> Grab yourself something to drink. Guido's drinking rosé. I'm drinking herbal tea. Yes. <laughs> um, we're going to have a little cosy chat about mental health, about feeling... How to feel sort of... Uh, good within yourself, within your life, with how you treat other people. How to fix our software. <laughs> what do you mean? The, the software, the uh, hardware and the software. Ah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> we always worry about the hardware, but then we, you know, once fixing the software and if it doesn't work, the computer doesn't work. True. It can be the best computer ever, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was thinking my editing software, I was like, why, is it broken? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, this, this software here. Right, right. Yeah. And actually, it's as um, if you've seen the video of uh, how we met, and I cited it as one of the reasons I fell in love with Guido, because I would say one of your best qualities... And the reason I'm so excited about a life with you is because... Um, I look after the software. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your own software. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not having the best, let's say, I use this metaphor of software, but just because it's how I figure it to myself. Mm. But uh, sometimes we worry about, oh, I have a sore knee, so shoulder, I'm fat and whatever. So that's all hardware and no one ever... Not, not really, but many times it's, there's also a shame about talking, okay, there's something bothering me, there's something that is putting me some limits, something that's not working in how I face reality, relationships, uh, challenges and whatever. So yeah, at um, a certain point, thanks to a friend, I started going to a therapist and that helped a lot because it's not solving all the problems but it's understanding that there's a hope of going on a path in which you will improve maybe you do st two steps in front one step backwards but it's just knowing that certain things that bother you scare you that you feel that are impossible in the end can be changed so that's that's amazing it's a, it's a good good thing I think that um, it's it's such a shame that we live uh, many of our situations in life with, with not being happy or not being able to manage them only because we we don't know how we work inside and so uh, therapy and and better help in this case are are a mean to, to overcome these limits. Well, it's just people are really busy and a lot of people say, yeah, yeah, I should do it. Like my, maybe your marriage is falling apart or you've got a, a son or a daughter who's got a lot of insecurities and it's becoming, or they're dealing with bullying or whatever. And You and, want to help a friend but, on the other side of the world. Exactly, you, you exactly. Can't, if you have a friend in California, you can't suggest yeah. a therapist. How, how would you know? I think sometimes mm -hmm. difficult for people even particularly I would say men as well, like the whole idea of going into like a, a clinic or something makes them feel like, oh, that, that step is difficult. And if you don't have the, the strength or, or the, the will to walk into a clinic, face 
this stupid shame of, of saying I'm going to the psychologist or everything. Yeah. This is an excellent way of, of also starting this this path yeah, without yeah. and then see what happens it's 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 private it's in your house and it's everything also i believe also the shame of ringing the bell of a psychologist yeah, yeah, yeah. that this thing of shame needs really to that's something that comes from Freud is the end of it's 150 years that it's proved that psychotherapy and psychology is, uh, psychology exists and everything, but it's still still shame. Mm -hmm. I was reading the other day on, on this <laughs> sport uh, newspaper that the Italian athletes this year that we had an amazing Olympic results and everything have have mental coaches that help them to uh, overcome their limits thanks to to psychotherapy thanks to uh, overcoming fears and everything and and the the 100 line how you say 100 metri lineari 100 metri mm -mm, the 100 meters yeah the, the 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 Italian guy that won he 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 rang the 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 mental coach before the the the, the, race. the race saying oh coach I, I really can't do it I'm mm. petrified by and and this is the difference between an athlete that is perfectly trained uh, fit a capable of winning the medal gold mm -mm. but mentally not able In therapy i think it's not just when you're not feeling well or unhappy it's also useful to achieve goals or or be a better person so to go beyond uh, your your limits i think maybe amore can you come a bit closer to Sorry. me so that you can be in the frame yeah perfect i'm hot <laughs> we've started off the fireplace is very romantic we got, we, <laughs> we got a bit excited because it's the first class <laughs> Stay morendo di caldo. We got a bit excited because it's, I'm choking. I'm choking on the smoke. Um, it's the first cozy day. It's the first over, yeah, overcast day. And uh, so Guido said, "Amore, oh, I'm going to I'm going to light the fire." And uh, I think we maybe it was a bit. We were a bit premature. I, yeah, I wanted to be metaphorical because when summer finishes and you oh, lose so the cute. sun and everything, you can light a fire in your mm -hmm. house. But it's still summer, so yeah, maybe it was a bit precautious. I know. I was thinking, oh, goody tea, and yes, it's yeah. cozy, but no, it's, it's not yet cozy weather. I know. I read your comments. You're planning vacations. Maybe you're getting a car. You're re renovating a house things like this and one sometimes I, I i think about the fact that okay we before we, going to a vacation see, it's better to fix up here no? yeah because I've, I've been many times on vacation yeah. thinking oh, okay i'm super stressed i'm not feeling well and then you go on vacation and you feel even worse see, see I've, 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 it happened and 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 a lot of the time i mean many people say okay kyle you're living in a beautiful country and sometimes of course italy is this idealized uh destination and often people feel oh, if i can only move to italy things will work out for me i will find the love i will find beauty yeah? of course of course the everything externally helps to stimulate us and and get us more in touch with our ourselves yeah, but people commit suicide also in italy so it's see, not do you know you know the quote um wherever you go there you are Wherever you go, there you are, and I and I love that because it's sort you of like you take yeah. who you are with you. It doesn't. So you can't escape your, your yourself. Mo your monsters. No, you have no. To face them. It's also a preventative measure, so that you don't get to a point uh, with yourself, with your career, where it's overrunning. It's creating so much anxiety. Where uh, you know you get to a point in a marriage where you are considering divorce and 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 breaking up a family i've done my messages mm. and i'm sure that if i had done therapy before i would have dealt that situations much better mm. maybe i wouldn't be with that person anymore and i'm somehow i'm happy that the, the all the events brought me here now with you but yeah. surely i've suffered i've made people suffer 
and for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. and the reasons are probably not facing fears escaping reality not being able to Mm, accept uh, myself or uh, mm. whatever and so with, if you don't fix that stuff there you you just go around limping avoiding certain turns mm, uh, doing damage to yourself mm. and to others and that's not not what I want to do so that was the, the reason why I went to therapy I went there and I said look I'm I think I'm doing I'm going in the I try to go in the right direction but this is bringing me to suffering being unhealthy and 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 making other people suffer and that was the reason and why do we do that because we, we think that our mental structure if we don't know how it works brings us to do the wrong decisions makes us fear certain things escape in the wrong directions and that's essential nothing matters if you're not happy you can be the richest person in the world you could be with the most wonderful person in the world but if you always feel that something is wrong well, it doesn't work. It's, it's worthless. So yeah. it's so important. And this means that we have to understand what, what is happiness, what are our real goals. Some, sometimes I'm reticent to use the word happy or happiness because I think it puts a lot of pressure on people, no? Like I prefer to think about if your life is, if you feel balanced and if you feel like your life is fulfilling, no? Because happiness, I think, is 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 fleeting, right? It's a it's a moment. It's a like that moment of laughter, that kiss, that ah, that's that, excitement. Yeah, but but happiness, I think, there's a lot of pressure, particularly online. People think, oh, these people seem so happy, or my friends, you see them, they seem so happy, and uh, and we can say, okay, that's there's also the 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 cynical approach which is like oh that's fake it's not necessarily fake i think but most people who are experiencing happiness are experiencing a moment and then they're going back down to the daily normal stress so i i feel like it's it's more realistic and perhaps more achievable for people Speaking to think about the balance but to feel balanced and you know when you feel but, like you're out of balance like your relationship is out of balance or your body or your responding irrationally but, but to this, something this morning you told me that you uh, you woke up early you had your bath your meditation mm. and you were happy nearly you wanted to cry because you were so happy so mm. and it's not that you were buying a lamborghini so no. <laughs> you were happy because you find found your balance yeah, yeah. so we have to i think uh, divide excitement last whatever mm. uh, from real happiness real happiness is balance okay. i think all I'm, I'm very ignorant, but maybe the Buddhists say that. So the, 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 all the point of Buddhism and, and many Oriental uh, philosophies and religious yeah. religions is to to seek happiness through balance. Uh, that this is something because I know a lot of you are very uh, religious, and it's something that some people might uh, find that it's in conflict. And I. And we had a priest that said that therapy mm. was Catholic priest that said that therapy was uh, useless and that religion could give you all the answers. Mm -hmm. And maybe, maybe, but in my experience, one thing doesn't exclude the other because I, I think it like the therapist is the, the, the mechanic of your car. So if the motor doesn't work because it's broken yeah. and it doesn't work, you need to go to the mechanic. Religion, spirituality, God or whatever is the air, the oxygen that's around us, that mm -hmm. without which the motor could never 
uh, work. So, uh, because it needs oxygen to, per fare la combustione del. So, it's, it's, it, it, there are two different. It's a slightly complicated metaphor. Yeah, I hope I'm following you. I'm following you. <laughs> yeah, no. But, it, 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 like, it. it Spirituality is, is the air that we breathe. Mm. The, 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 the therapist is someone that helps you to, to fix something more tangible. Our way of breathing, our way of understanding that spirituality. So, I don't know. It's probably it's, a, bad, a bad metaphor, but I know, it, I know. Wor it works for me. Amore, it's not a, you're the perfect example, and it's something I admire a lot about you, is how you, you see you're open to everything and to integrating uh, different types of support in your life. So sometimes I see you're like, ah, oh, Amore, I just have to go and play a game of soccer with your friends, and you want to just go and, and release some... Uh, some tension and you and that's your thing other times we go and have a cup of tea with your mother and that's nice or with my parents and and other times you say I've got or to go <laughs> <laughs> or uh, and then other times you're going to mass and then uh, and and feeling a, a really great deep spiritual connection and then other times you say no this is a moment where I want to talk through things with uh, your your psychologist and I I think that what is what I, I love about you is that you you do try and it's coming back to that equilibrium, no? That you do try and integrate all different things, and you don't say, "Ah, no, I, I exercise, it's, so allora sono posto, yeah. I'm fine, I don't need anything else in my life." Like it's, it's, it's a balance of, I think, a balance of everything because you can be exercised, create successful, perfectly psychotherapized, no, <laughs> you go to therapy all the time, Ment but in, men mentally healthy, yeah, mentally yeah. healthy from a, from a clinic, uh, by a clinical point of view, mm. but probably if you don't have that spirituality that I'm not say must come from Christianity, but let's say some sort of spirituality, mm -mm. you're still limping because then you're missing the main Question: Why? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Why did you? Why? What's the reason? So I'm just a, 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 honestly, yeah. I mean, and, and it's true. It's true. But sometimes, I mean, a lot of people have sent me questions saying, "How? What do you do when you feel ah, you can't, like you can't do it all, Kylie? Or what do you feel? How? How do you cope when you feel down?" And I, know, I have to say, I mean, I'm I'm a fairly cheerful <laughs> person, and I uh, I have a lot of hope. Uh, most of the time, but I you have your your dumb yeah moments. yeah I well I have a lot of times where I think oh gosh I often feel like there is always something like uh, you know you have your different uh, facets of your life now so you have family you have your health your physical health uh, you have I don't know your 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 work you have uh, looking after friends who you want to be a support to you want to do something for your community so how are you doing that you want to also do something to for your own uh, you know knowledge like to 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 make sure that you're evolving uh, intellectually and then I always feel like okay I'm doing well in maybe like four facets and then there are not another seven that are that are in which I'm flailing you know and I, I sometimes I, I I do feel that that pressure of thinking oh gosh I'm I'm doing so well in these areas and then I've let the I've let the ball drop on on this it's, it's como se dice chocoliere. yeah a juggler yeah 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 and we tend to do that. Many times we do it because we feel that we are afraid that we uh, won't be accepted, won't be loved. And, and yeah, this is something that I, I think about and it's a work in progress. But I suppose that many, uh, many times you, you try to work it all out and, and keep all these plates on the, and then at a certain point they fall down because you 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 want to be loved or or you want to be accepted but or in, feel a sense of belonging i think a lot of people uh wanting wanting that sense of belonging no being accepted in a group or yeah, something yeah, yeah. yeah and and what many times and, and and in the end is I don't know what's the answer, but what really Christianity says is the solution is to love. Mm -mm. It is just crucial to have that self-knowledge, to have that understanding of 
why we react uh, in certain ways and what are our behavioral patterns. And, and the more we think about that, I think the, the more giving and compassionate and, and hyper aware we become to others around us. So you become a better son or daughter, you become a better sibling, a better member of the community, a better spouse, or you're just you just have a more of a, a friendship with yourself as well. I mean, uh, if you keep soldiering on and trying to be stoic and just say, oh, I don't need, I don't need anything. I don't need, um, I don't need to examine anything. I'll just keep charging ahead. Uh, then I think the risk is that it's just, it just accumulates over time. And, and then you, you end up with real sort of tension that you become used to and, that's probably the danger, isn't it? Because sometimes if you've been going along uh, like that for so many years, the sad thing is that you can forget what it's like to actually wake up and feel light, to actually wake up and feel rested and energized and, 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 and nourished and, and, and feel like, yeah, you know, I can, uh, I, I, I feel this, this serenity in your, in yourself and, whatever your day holds you're going to be able to to deal with it and i think that's the that for me is the is always the goal is 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 not to have a trouble free life or not to have a a day without uh sort of emotional um highs and lows but but just to know that i trust myself and i feel that i i know that i can i can deal with whatever comes my way and perhaps the the response might be, okay, well, why would I, why would I change anything? Because I know this is just it. This is life's hard or uh, being at the age you're at is hard or, 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 or your work is just, is just exhausting and stressful and that's how it is. But I, I think there's always something that we can shift. There are just so many, there's so many ways uh, to live these days. There are so many ways to achieve our, our dreams and and you you to get from point A to point B there are just a thousand different routes that you could take and and that's where I think being creative where we all have that innate creativity uh, and and when I say creativity I mean in terms of um, thinking laterally and saying right this is the the normal route that people take to achieve that that goal but what's What's a slightly uh, sort of a little detour that I could that I could possibly take given my circumstances? And it takes a bit more time, and you have to you have to really just clear out all the all the uh, preconceived uh, ideas that that we have about uh, about goals. So you think, okay, this is how everyone else is doing it. So I guess if I haven't got if I'm not that age, or if I haven't got that body, or if I haven't got that amount of money, I I can't arrive at that destination. But that's not true. There are just uh, so many examples of people uh, achieving different types of fulfillment in 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 completely original ways, and that they're always the people that I find the most inspiring. Those who uh, you know not just take that normal path, but uh, but actually just sort of carve out a, a really crazy path going up a mountain and down through a village and under a, a, a through a cave and, and out the other side. And, and, uh, and, and the main point is to just say, this is, this is your path. Nobody else's. It's just yours. And you have to just believe in it and trust yourself. And if you've really thought long and hard about what you want and how you want to feel when you wake up in the morning and what you want to see when you open your window and who you want beside you if you've really thought long and hard about that and you've thought what is truly going to be best for you and your personality uh then then i just think yeah do get there however you feel you can whatever works for you hello hello i'm preparing lunch <laughs> What are we? We're having fish. Yes. Caldo. Sí. <laughs> Povero. We are nearly ready. You hang on. Are you in the frame? Yes, you are. We are nearly ready. Okay. Let's go. 
Hai mandato un messaggio a me, Cetonio? No! Ok, ma dove sono in giardino? Non lo so! Ok! <ride> Grazie, amore! <ride>